The SLG20AX is a retractable landing gear set for the Freefly Alter X. You know, this Alter X kit, it's got the SLG20 modules, which come mounted on adapter plates, which are ready to bolt directly to the frame of the Alter X. Everything's all mounted together. You just bolt it on and go. We wanted to make the system as easy to install as possible, and we wanted to keep the retractable landing gear as a whole extremely light. So that means, you know, less bolts, less nuts, less time to install so that anyone can do it. The competitors retracts in the past. We knew exactly how they would break. Like if you flew above a certain weight with the amount of prop wash that you had pushing down on the legs, if you were ascending at the same time as you put the legs up, they'd just fail. They just wouldn't come up. So all we did is we went and put full weight on the aircraft, full power up, over and over again, up and down and up and down, and didn't have any failures. And that was when we knew that we were actually able to do what we wanted to do. I'm Dan from XM2 Labs. I'm a drone tech, also do a little bit of engineering on our aircrafts. The guys love to put the gear through their paces, so um, it gives me a lot of things to fix up and um, yeah, I get to see where you know things are reliable, um, the things that have been battle tested out there, what works, what doesn't, um, what's falling apart and things that we need to engineer and, and readdress. The mechanism's been tightened up a lot, so a lot of tighter tolerances on the mechanical point of view. From the calibration side of things as well, I think this system now where we've got it is incredibly easy. Like, it's kind of set and forget. It's just being able to slap them on um, and just know they're going to perform time after time has, uh, yeah, really, really helped us out. You never want that situation where you can't trust your landing gear. If you go and hit down and one of them doesn't come down, you're in a dangerous situation. You need to trust that it's going to come down. So changing to these new landing gear that are stronger, it's got a better power system. It means that we're able to go and fly with the bigger, longer, heavier legs and then still get them to go up and down as many times as we want. Another design consideration of ours to make everything as toolless as possible. So we opted to use M4 little thumb screws which are red on, on the actual modules themselves allow you to just remove the struts without any tools. The toolless system definitely saves a lot of time getting the drone out of the box and into the air. Uh, so that's a great thing. I think from my perspective for building them, uh, it also saves us on internal components in the drone as well. So it, it takes out a whole nother beck, which is extra weight in the aircraft that we've saved now. The power input range is a lot wider, so we're not as worried about, you know, having to run it off specific, you know, um, power rails that are shared with other components in the drone. So that's been a great thing. We were running aero landing gear pretty extensively on our own twos. We did find in certain use cases with heavier packages that it can add to inducing vibration on an airframe. So I think that's probably one of the main advantages. Uh, I mean, the, the other obvious one is that in comparison to the aero landing gear, it's a lot stabler platform to land on as well. It's not some tripod thing that has the potential to, you know, have a bad landing if your pilot is, um, yeah, not on the ball, I suppose. So yeah, just like four feet flat on the ground, simple to go up and down. As a pilot, I can set the aircraft up anywhere. The gimbal can be off with the camera being set up elsewhere and then brought to the aircraft. Once it's on the aircraft, the camera operator then has the freedom to pan left and right, tilt up and down, even actuate the roll axis, practice the shot essentially before we get into it. We started doing some beta testing with external companies and people. We offered some of the sets to other people to use as a preparation for starting to you know, market them as a product. Our beta testers have given us like completely different problems to solve. I think the good thing about this platform is it's been designed in a way that we can roll out new features. It's just a firmware update. A lot of the things that we see on the mechanical side that our beta testers have been challenging for us, we've already made small improvements and we can continue to do so because the platform is pretty open in the way it's been designed. It's been really cool that we've been developing this product for uh, you know, two or three years now and uh, now we're getting it in the hands of other companies and we're starting to see people giving us feedback of them using it on set around the world. We're seeing those pictures and it's, um, yeah, it's pretty cool to see that something we've been working on for a long time is now in other people's hands and it's enabling people to, you know, 
speed up their operations, make things work better for them on set, and that's really the uh, the aim of the game. So.